What goes into the decision-making for game developers when they're developing a game and they're deciding what distribution model to use? And what do I mean by that? I mean, are they going to only release their game on PC or are they going to release the game on a on multi-platform PC and console? And I'm pondering this question because since the release of Harbingers of Ruin and Last Epoch, I've been streaming it for the past week. And every day on my stream, I get asked, is this game available on console? And then when they learn that it's not, I get a lot of comments, again, in chat saying, I wish this was available in console. Looks like a good game. I would be playing it. And, you know, it got me pondering how do developers decide? So in this video, I'm going to try to educate you guys on what road developers need to navigate when they're making that decision and pondering whether or not to do a multi-platform distribution or just a PC distribution. I'm going to try to uncover, unpeel the layer of what goes into that decision. But before we do a deep dive into that subject, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but do not subscribe to the channel. If you can find it in your heart to hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. At the end of the day, your support and your subscription would help support my content and get my content in front of more eyes and ears. At the end of the day, that's one of the reasons why I created this channel. So if you can hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate the support. Now, let's get into what decision-making game developers have to navigate in order to answer the question, do we launch our game in PC only or do we do a multi-platform release? Here are the roads game developers have to navigate. So when a game developer is deciding whether or not to do a PC only or multi-platform distribution, these are some of the questions they got to navigate. There's pros and cons to both sides. Now, specifically Last Epoch and 11th Hour Games, which is on the Unity platform. And I think one of the reasons why they decided to do a PC only, and it's a good segue into why game developers only do PC only releases. And that's because when you're doing a PC only release, you have the opportunity to focus on the quality and the performance of the game. Because the game is exclusively for PC, you can optimize the game to run effectively, efficiently on PC. You're not burdened with the other layers of of difficulty when you're doing a multi-platform where you're not just relying on what the PC requirements are, but you're also relying on the console requirements. So focusing in on a PC only distribution allows the game developer to focus on the quality and the performance. Also, one of the other benefits of doing a PC only release, the developers can do a tailored user experience. So PC gamers often rely on unique features like mod support, extensive custom customization options, and the ability to fine-tune graphic settings. So when a developer is only distributing their game on PC, they can tailor that experience to the user because they're focusing in only on a PC release. Now, probably one of the biggest benefits of doing a PC only is the rack distribution. So when a developer is only of creating a game for PC, it's this, it's a direct distribution line to the end user. That is possible, for example, last epoch, they can distribute their game directly through Steam. So this direct relationship with players just enhances faster updates, easier bug fixes, and real-time communication with their community. So when you're focused on a PC only, another benefit is the direct line that you have for distribution and updates to your game. That's gold when you're releasing a new game. So those are the positives. The cons of developing a PC only game is clearly the distribution has a limited market share. While the PC market is substantial, it is still smaller than the combined user base of console and mobile devices. We know that. The console and mobile device market is a huge market to kind of not have your game 
on. Um, so developing games that are PC only, you are missing out on potential revenue from other platforms. Another con against PC only is hardware fragmentation. PC comes in various configurations leading to hardware fragmentation. Developers must ensure compatibility with a wide range of hardware, which can be a resource intense and challenging to support effectively. So when you have this hardware fragmentation itch issue, and I think this is one of the reasons why specifically in speaking about 11th hour games and last epoch, they wanted to get their game right on PC, optimize it. So not having deal with all this other stuff, the hardware fragmentation when it comes to, okay, PC and console, all these headaches. And headaches means resources, time. Remember, 11th Hour Games is a small studio. So this is a Kickstarter game. Uh, this is not a studio that has thousands and thousands of people. And an endless supply of financial resources to handle the hardware fragmentation when it comes to a multi-platform release. Um, so again, when it comes to Last Epoch, I think this is another reason where they're like, let's get this game optimized and where we want it to be on PC. Once that's done, then we'll go and get it straight for console. So hardware fragmentation in a um, in a multi-platform release is, is another issue why. What are the advantages of distributing your game on PC and console? Well, the first one is the financial one, and that is because you have a larger market reach. So clearly, when you're only distributing your game to one avenue, for example, in this case, PC only, obviously, you are not taking advantage of the console market, which obviously impacts impacts your reach, impacts your financial benefit. Um, so it, it it's not a diversified revenue stream. It's only PC, not on console. So by releasing on multiple platforms, developers can tap into various revenue streams and it just opens up the door to a more fast, more revenue streams, obviously. Um, Multi-platform releases often benefit from cross promotion and marketing efforts by platform holders, amplifying the game's visibility and attracting a broader audience. So having multiple distributions on PC and mobile just amps up the possibility of cross promotion and marketing efforts by more people, therefore exposing your game to more people and we all know what the benefits of that are now what are the cons of developing a multi-platform game the technical challenges like i kind of alluded to before developing multiple platform introduces technical complexities including optimization testing and ensuring a consistent user experience across various hardware and control games so what works on pc may not necessarily translate and work on playstation and xbox so these these that the dynamic in that just creates more technical challenges of course when you have these technical challenges and you're creating your technology and your game for multiple platforms this naturally increases development costs multi-platform development can be costlier due to due to the need to for additional resources like i alluded to earlier you're not just honing in on one device pc you are making a game for multi-platform console and pc that sucks up resources it's time money i can go on and on so it really amps up your increased development cost now when it comes to 11th hour games clearly a small studio their first major release they wanted to get their ducks in a row and get this game done right. And clearly, they can't afford to take a misstep. And they can't afford the manpower and resources financially that come with a multi-platform release. So it is my humble opinion that that is the reason why 11th Hour Games chose 
to do a PC only release. It's less resources, less money, less headaches, technical challenges, yada, 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 right? Right, everything I talked about in this video. So I kinda support what 11th Hour Games is doing. They wanna get it right, optimize it on PC, and then step into the console market. So for my console friends that continue to ask me every day on my live streams, by the way, come check me out. I'm streaming Last Epoch. We're humming along on the Harbingers of Ruin and we're getting closer to the end game. Uh, so come and check me out on Twitch. I live stream every day, every evening, uh, 7, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, PM that is. Uh, channel name is Sammy Caps. Come over and check me out. We'd love to have a talk with you and say hello. We have a chill, cute, cool community. Come over and uh, say hello. We'd love to say hello back. Um, anyway, I think this is why 11th Hour Games has decided to do PC only. So to my console friends, unfortunately, in my humble opinion, I think it's going to be a while before Last Epoch specifically is coming to console for the reasons I outlined in this video. It's just too much time, a drain on resources and money financially to optimize a game for multi-platform. So it's my humble estimation that 11th Hour Games is going to focus on getting this game right and optimized. And believe me, they have done a huge leap with the game being optimized from 1.0 to 1.1. I have noticed, and so have a lot of people in my community have told me that this game is a lot crisper, a lot smoother, the lag, the issues, they have just made a huge leap forward. Now, there are still some problems, but compared to 1.0, it's leaps and bounds ahead. So that is a great sign that 11th Hour Games has made such a jump uh, from 1.0 to 1.1. So hopefully if that continues, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the game comes to console a lot quicker than I think. But I just wanted to make this video to kind of address the question that I'm getting every day on, on my streams uh, about whether or not, or when Last Epoch is coming to console. I hope this video helped kind of explain and un unveil what's going, what has, what goes on behind the scenes when game developers have to decide whether or not they're gonna do PC or console uh, or both. Um, so I hope this educated you a little bit on the topic and if we get a big interest, maybe we'll do a bigger deep dive into all the topics that I talked about, but we'll see. I'll let the comments dictate whether or not another video is required. But unfortunately, console players, I think it's gonna be some time before Last Epoch comes on console, like I said, with all the topics uh, and issues that arise when you're doing a multi-platform release. So I hope this gave you a little bit of useful information. And as always, thank you for watching. If you can find it in your heart to like the video, and if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate you supporting my content. And come and check me live on Twitch. Sammy Caps is the channel name. And we'll see you in a Tira. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed, so get over it.